Okay, here we go. Here's the machine that we're going to restore. It's a Mills Castle Print. Uh, takes nickels. This machine, when the guy called me on it, um, he described it as very, described it in very good condition. Uh, it's amazing what some people consider as very good condition. I guess when they're selling it, their eyes aren't as critical as they uh, should be. But, um, This cabinet, someone has decided had decided to paint it all brown, and it shouldn't it should be natural. So when we get it all torn apart, we'll strip all this paint off of it and refinish the cabinet. This here is a placard which lists a bunch of um, patents, I believe, and it's probably destroyed. I don't know any way of getting that paint off, and uh, but keeping the uh, the patent numbers on it. So. Unfortunately, that will probably have to be destroyed. Coins were stored. And here's your mechanism for dispensing. You see, it's so gummed up, it barely even works. Jackpot's complete, that's good. Um, escalator's complete, it's got both the coin detector and the check detector. If you're buying a machine and from an antique store or from a dealer, you should try and get the machine as complete as possible and what some people do is they remove the check detector hardware because it's really not necessary but again I, I like to keep machines as original as possible so um, the machine has been replaced the, uh, the glass in front of the reels is going to have to be replaced the one on the left is actually broken and the jackpot glass is uh, also going to be replaced but that's fairly inexpensive. You can go to any glass shop and uh, bring in the old glass and tell them you just want to cut the same dimensions and uh, they can do that for you. Sometimes they may not have the right size. You might need 3 8 inch glass and they don't have it, but they'll have quarter inch and eighth inch. So um, just get quarter inch and eighth inch and tape it together. We look up close. I'm not sure how this will turn out on the tape. But you can see there's actually some corrosion over here. Uh, it's very rusty. Uh, it's good that things aren't rusted completely together, which sometimes happens. But um, in any case, the whole thing will have to be torn apart and, and cleaned up, be blasted, or whatever. So, um, I guess the first thing we'll do is since most people are, most people want to know about the mechanism, I'm going to tear apart the mechanism first. Usually, I tear apart the cabinet first, but in this case, I'm going to tear, tear apart the mechanism first. And as I tear each piece apart, I'm going to throw it into a uh, parts washer that I have and just let them soak in that uh, in the solvent. If you don't have access to a parts washer, 